Hello everyone. These are the sample questions on financial economics for my financial economics students preparing for the exam. Here I have discussed the syllabus of financial economics. I have collected some important questions from that unit. Along with that, I have also added the previous year questions on that topic so that it would help you in your preparation. So all the best to all my dear students. Let's see the syllabus first. Financial economic syllabus is divided into three units. Unit one is talking about investment theory and portfolio analysis. Unit two is on capital asset pricing model and unit three is on options and derivatives. So question pattern will be 50% weightage from unit 3 and 50% weightage will be from unit 1 and unit 2. There will be a numerical questions on all the three units. So use scientific calculator in the exam. So in unit 1, the investment theory, we will first see the syllabus. Then I will discuss the sample questions which I have prepared for you from that syllabus to help you in covering the syllabus for your preparation. And then we will also see some exam questions which came in the previous years. So this is the syllabus of unit 1 where you have to cover the basic theory of interest, discounting and the present value, evaluation criteria, internal rate of return, fixed income security, bond price and bond yield, sensitivity and duration of a bond, immunization. But regarding the term and structure theory of interest, yield curve and forward rate, it comes in this part which are in asterisks and that means the topics will not be covered in your final exam. So coming to the sample questions, the first question is explain the concept of continuous compounding. Second, discuss the concept of compounding at various intervals. Third, difference between effective interest rate and nominal interest rate. Fourth, what are the characteristics of ideal bank? Five, what is the difference between internal rate of return and net present value? A very important question. Six, explain the concept of perpetual annuity with example. Seven, difference between perpetual annuity and annuity formula. Eight, what do you understand by finite life stream? To continue with the next question, Difference between investment grade bond and junk bond. Explain the concept of duration of a bond. This is a very important part of unit one, part one of the syllabus. Explain the relationship between duration and sensitivity of a bond. Very important question. Difference between Macaulay duration and modified duration. And another important is the concept of immunization of a bond. Along with that, the short notes on acquired interest, amortization, current yield, yield to maturity, and yield to call. The short note on fixed income security. So these are some sample questions which I have collected from part one to help you to prepare these questions from this unit. So here are some previous year's questions which I have collected for you topic wise. So the first question is on net present value and internal rate of return. You can see many questions are on this topic. The questions are both in theoretical and in numerical form. In this question, you can see even the figures of the question are same. The question on this figure is different. So prepare well the net present value and internal rate of return. So here you can see again the difference between net present value and internal rate of return. The question is on explain the annual worth method with the help of example and how it is different from NPV. Another important point is acquired interest numerical on it. The notion of ideal bank and the concept of yield to maturity. You can also expect question from the price yield curve, the qualitative properties of duration which is a very important question. Here again, the question on duration of portfolio, interest rate sensitivity of a bond, a very important question. In this slide, you can see the question coming on 
Mekale duration and modified duration. So it is repeating again and again the difference between duration and modified duration. There are also numerical on it. So prepare it well. The difference between Mekale duration and modified duration. Another important question of unit one is immunization. You can see various questions came from immunization in unit one. So prepare immunizations very well. What is immunization? Explain the concept of reinvestment risk. And again, the numerical question on it. So here, the question is on forward rate. This is coming in asterisk, which clearly says that it will not be used in the evaluation. So in the next slide, you will see unit two that is talking about CAPM, where we will see the syllabus, the sample questions from unit two, and some exam questions collected on this topic. If you have any question on this presentation, please put your question in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notification. Thank you so much.